park. This is day number one. We're at the uh, Frozen Creek Trailhead. Boy, that was a mile climb. Right, I'm gonna take a layer off already. Later. My plan for this year is to try to manage my energy output, control it a little bit more. Yeah, this section is closed. We had a bad washout, so I don't know. We're gonna continue here. Yeah, this is not looking good, folks. Got a lot of water running through there. Well, I'm gonna give it a shot. Here we go. I can't believe we did that. Oh crap. Yeah, that was that was a little scary. Oh lucky us, we gotta do this again. And I think I took a wrong turn. <laughs> Let's keep going. It's one o'clock. I get back here later. I figure this out. Decision has been made. I'm abandoning this trip so far. I gotta turn around, I'm going back. I am way, I don't know, I, I, I took the wrong trail. These are not the markings that I need. So I managed to get a hold of my shuttle driver. He's gonna meet me in, back at the trailhead and I'll have to reassess what I'm gonna do. But uh, this is not the trail that's taking me to the foothills. Somewhere along the line, uh, I missed it. I don't know how. So we're going back. I tried to explain to him where I was and he had no clue. So uh, unfortunately my map doesn't show, I have the regular map. It doesn't even show these power lines. If I, if I had a map that showed the power lines, I'd know exactly where I am. Here are the power lines right here. Oh, so now I gotta go all the way back. Well, Part of the course. Uh, I don't know where I went wrong. Okay. All right. Unless I find this trail on my way back, but I got to ford those two rivers again going back. I'm not looking forward to that. All right. <sighs> Always an adventure. Always an adventure. Go again the other way. <laughs> All right. All right, see you on the other side. We made it. Now we got the knee deep one coming. Oh, I didn't like going through that one, but gotta get out of here. I took a long turn somewhere. All right, see? I go hole that way, straight. The line kills that way, but I didn't see any trail going that way. There's just no trail here. I don't know where it is, but I don't think that's the one I wanted anyway. Indian camp is right here. Can't find that on the map, so I have no idea where that is. So we'll keep going back. Try number two. We got rapids down there, so we don't want to have go down. How was that, Hannah? Oh, you're wagging your tail. You're the only one I like that. Oh, shit. Four, that's our fourth crossing of the day. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Come on. Let's get out of here. This is where the trail went that way. But you can see the whole hill went. This whole, whole hill went. It's gone. Yeah. So, I'm wondering if my trail didn't go down there and cross. Oh, yeah, yeah, so I don't know. I'm supposed to be going that way. And obviously, it's not there. So, there's another fork up here about 100 yards. Let's see if I missed the trail there. The green, now, Wintergreen goes to the west. 
that's not it so I still haven't run into it yet I don't know I don't know where it is let's go back more oh shit I have no energy oh. no energy I've been eating but I wasn't planning on doing 18 freaking miles today oh. <laughs> uh, how about another lesson learned I should that's where I should have stopped right there I was thinking about it but I said nah it's got to be a little further yeah and I kept saying a little bit further should have listened to my first instinct. All right. Ooh. Oh, that's just a water runoff. That's not a trail. Okay. All right. Continue on. Okay, folks. Let me show you uh, what the plan was. Uh, this here is the Foothills Trail map, which I had with me and uh, let me show you on this map what's what so here's the trailhead that I left my uh, vehicle at down here this is the foothills trail this is the foothills trail that goes all the way on here it goes all the way up here is the um, state line so it goes into North Carolina and then it goes around the land the uh, dam here and continues continues and it continues over here then the, you flip the map over and it actually goes drops back down into um, South, South Carolina here to Okani State Park which is another f roughly 40 miles to the southwest okay um, so we dropped the vehicle off here at the state park and then I got a shuttle all the way up here to Frozen Creek Road Access, which is in North Carolina. And North Carolina had not opened up yet. So this was actually closed. It was barricaded, closed. They were going to open up Saturday coming. I, I got here on Wednesday morning. So he just dropped me off at the road and I walked through the camping area and I got to the spur trail. The spur trail here was supposed to be about six miles long, which would get me right to the foothills trail right here. There's a suspension bridge. Um, nice camping along here. It's beautiful. So that was my plan. I was going to do like no more than an eight mile day. It was, uh, it, that was doable for me in my condition. Um, so this was the trail I was trying to find right here, the spur trail, um, which I could not find it. So get rid of that map. I did not have this map. I didn't even know this map existed until I got off the trail. And then I, um, my shuttle guy had this at his house. And he goes, oh, you did, we got to figure out where you went. So here's the trail, the spur trail. The, the parking area where I started was right here. Frozen, Frozen Creek Trailhead was right here. And these two trails met there. One was a red tag, one was an orange tag. Um, but this trail said Foothills Trail, eight miles. This trail had had no name on it. So when I got to the trail, when I got to this fork, I took a left, which brought me down here. But I didn't know it at the time. I thought I was on this trail. So I continued down and um, followed this river here. And then I ended up crossing this major river right there. That was the Tuxaway River. That was the one that was, you know, over my knee, uh, thigh, thigh deep, um, just about at my knee, I guess. And um, uh, 
at that point I should have turned around, but I, I, I don't know why I didn't. I was kind of curious to see where I was going. I thought I was going to be heading in the right direction because I knew this foothills trail cut across and I, I would eventually hit it. Uh, and then I, so I continued and then right over here was that second river that was, uh, calf high. It was below my knee and it was a much, it was an easier ford. I continued that one there was just, uh, it went under the road. They had big pipes. So that river went under the road and I continued and I got to right about here is where I came to the kiosk and there were two gates. There was a gate here and a gate. I went under that gate and then I went under, I went under this gate and right after that gate is where the kiosk was for the uh, preserve area, Georgia State Forest Preserve, hunting and all that. I, I still continued a little bit. And if I had had this map, um, it showed this road and, and this is the road that I took and I, and right here at this point is where I stopped. It was up on a hill and that's where I was able to get one bar on my phone to, to try to get a hold of my shuttle guy. And, but if I had continued, that would have taken me, this is the foothills trail that would have taken me to the foothills trail. Or if I had continued down this road. This would have taken me to the foothills. There would have been another fork right here. If I took a left, that would have brought me to the foothills trail here. Or if I took a right, that would have brought me to the foothills trail right over here. So I had three ways to get into this trail, but I didn't know it at the time because I didn't have this stupid map. And none of my electronics showed I had any of this area downloaded. Because I was actually planning on doing the Benton Mackay Trail. And I had downloaded all those trails for the Benton Mackay. Not realizing it, I had down, I didn't download this area. <laughs> uh, stupid mistake number one is always check your backup maps electronically. And if you can get a hold of a paper map, get it. But now I'm all set. If you look at this map, there are trails... I'm coming back here. There are trails all over this area. Look at, these are all trails. These are not roads. These are trails and fire roads here that run all through here. This this looks like an awesome place to hike. I'm going to come back here uh, now that I have the map and, and I get a better feel of the layout for this area. But, um, yeah, that's what happened. So, I was so close, but... I see I should have ended up here and I was way over here so um yeah it was a good it was a good nine miles from up here all the way here and then I had to go all the way back and and I knew I knew I was pushing my body I I just was not in condition to do that I was in condition to do about eight that was it so Yes, I'm off the trail. I've been trying to get my legs back. I'm on day two now in recovery. I can still just about walk because my legs, my muscles, are, are, I shot them. I killed them. They're, they're dead. Driving home to stop to go to the, I'm not whining, I'm just explaining, but it's kind of funny now too. But uh, to go to the rest areas, I almost fell in the parking lot. My legs had just give, given out on me after sitting in the car for so many hours and then all of a sudden I'm going to try to walk. Yeah, that didn't happen. So anyway, uh, I am home recuperating. I will be back to conquer this trail. <laughs> I've already through hiked the whole thing once, uh, but I want to conquer this area here. This, this was an awesome area. So there's the Foothills Trail. This is the one you want, the first one I showed you, and then you can get this one. This is a free map. You can get this at the local gas station before you get to uh, Table Rock State Park. They keep these behind, underneath the cash register because these would go quick, and they're free. You just have to ask for it, but it's the DNR map, and that's, that's this map right here, okay? So, highly recommend taking this if you want to do some really 
backcountry camping. And I mean, I didn't even see paw prints of anything back there. There's just nothing there. We were, Henry and I were the only ones out there. And I loved it. It was really, I wasn't afraid. I wasn't scared. I was just really frustrated that I couldn't fulfill my plan. But it was a learning experience. Uh, and I will be back. Oh, yeah, I'm coming back. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this trip. Um, keep following. I got a couple more. All right. Be safe. And talk to you later.